Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. If you go on Facebook and you ask for the best wheelbase, there is a chance that you already received SimMagic Alpha Mini S uh, response. Now, I was never able to really uh, reply to comments like that because I hadn't tested it before. But finally, today I bring you the review of the SimMagic Alpha Mini. SimMagic opted for a safe design with the wheelbase. The housing is completely made out of aluminium with a small carbon fiber disc on the front. On the top you have the sober grey Simagic logo and it is it for design, nothing fancy and quite sober. To the sides you have the connections, one side features the power and USB-B connector. Why they opted for USB-B instead of the standard USB-C is a bit surprising. The other side hosts a USB-A CAN bus to add some Simagic pedals, solar handbrake and an RG11 connector for an extra Simagic only peripheral. Why they opted for the connections to the side is probably because they wanted to keep the housing as compact as possible and to maximize the length of the actual motor. With 27 by 11 by 11 cm, the dimensions of the wheelbase make it surprisingly compact. Attachment can be done from the side, the front and the bottom. Something worth noting is that there is no active cooling in it and no real cooling fins on the exterior either for warm dissipation. A last thing that I want to add is the absence of a power button which yeah, also puzzles me somewhat. The steering wheel that I tested with the Alpha Mini is the GTS. It measures 30cm in diameter and is made out of aluminium with a rough leather wrapping. The form is a bit special, it is a round form but has two bumps in the lower sides. The leather also, while it feels very durable, it is a bit rough for my taste. The stitching, however, stops at a bit above the spokes, which improves the comfort when you hold your hands there. The shifters are made out of carbon fiber, are non-adjustable and magnetic. They are pretty loud, but feel very precise. When it comes to buttons, there are seven of them, two rotary encoders and two joysticks. While I would call the quality of the buttons good, I would have preferred some mechanical click in them at this price level. However, the pièce de résistance of these steering wheels are the light. A fully programmable rev counter and fully customizable light-up buttons. An extra feature of them is that they can even display telemetry. A, a gadget of course, but hey, gadgets always score well in my book. When it comes to technology, I think Simagic put one of the best servo motors inside their wheelbase. It can generate up to uh, 10 Nm of uh, max torque. Um, something else of technology is the quick release that they use. Um, it's not something particularly special. I saw this design already with some other wheelbases, uh, but it just works well and it just, yeah, it is made to last. You can feel it, it's quality. So technology wise, they are really, really um, up to par. This is where it all starts. The first straight light vibrations of the detail in the road and it should intensify towards the end. I can feel it intensify now. It gets deeper, deeper uh, force feedback here. Oh, okay. Look at that. The, the, the return to center immediately. Release it and it just comes right. Fantastic. Here, this corner also pushes me. Yes, very nice, very nice. The detail in the road here. And then the pushing from the right side here, also the detail, mighty impressive. Good. A good distinction also between left and right. I feel it go, I go over the left curb because of the, uh, the force feedback. Here also the back, uh, the straight here, I can feel the details in the road. Um, intense enough. Oh, the right side, that I didn't feel that well. Huh? Let's see it here. Okay, no, it's good, it's good. 
here a light force feedback as it should be a lot of um, a lot of differentiation also in the force feedback good 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 so here it starts again lightly just light force feedback and it intensifies toward the end gets more boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it's pushing me and oh yeah, okay, very, very intense moment there because on top of the lateral force and the details of the road, I also had the, uh, the, core, uh, the curb which uh, came into play and it was able to let me feel the, the three different kinds of force feedback very well there. Great. Let's try here again. So on the left side you have a little more detail. And now it deepens, the force feedback deepens. Very nice sensation. Now light, <sighs> calm down. I can absolutely understand why people are so lyrical about this wheelbase. It, it, it's true, it is a very, uh, very amazing sensation in ACC. Um, the best, ah uh, yeah. I, I will wait until the versus videos for this one, but um, one of the, if not the best. Detail of the road, I, it, it's just lightly felt. You can only just feel a very, very subtle rumble. And that is about the same with all the other wheelbases. It's really on the roads like this that you should feel a bit more. In this case, that's not the... It's nothing. So, I really do think that they changed a bit on the um, the force feedback that you get in BMG. But let's check with this road here. Okay, that's a bit better. So you can hear, you can feel a bit of the, 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 the road working. See the return to center is also very good. It should be yeah but but also yeah the detail is light now very good very good yeah the steering itself is really nice feels very lifelike, very um, how it should be in uh, in real. Let's just pace a bit. Okay, so you feel the, the wheels when they lock up, you can feel it good in the base. And I think in general the, um, the the force feedback is is less important in a game like BMG, or at least the, the people that play it 
they don't care as much for the uh, the real the, the the high quality of the um, of the force feedback like they do in uh, in ACC. But so far, yeah, it is also uh, well, it is doing what what it is supposed to do, and that is most of the the, the driving sensation itself. So how how the wheel reacts, how the wheel turns back, like here also that I can just. Uh, turn it with my uh, with my one hand. That's how I would drive in real. Yeah, perhaps here I could use a bit swifter return to center. Okay, that was better. Yeah. Okay. So it is also the way you drive with it of course that uh, dictates it here very well you had the the bump and uh, the wheel reacted to it very nicely Let's see on the open road what it gives a bit of detail a bit of detail not too much it pushes a bit back, so there is some lateral force going on um, in the in the corner. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're now in the in the corner because of the speed that um, it also started to, to force itself away a bit to the right. In a straight line, you really you don't have a lot. It it it. There's a very very light um, sensation. Yeah, but if you really want to feel the uh, the vibrations of the road, then it's better that you go with something like uh, a butt kicker or the um, or the H of eight. That's uh, much much more fun. Because it's not supposed, it's it really isn't supposed to come in the in the steering wheel that much. It's more that you feel it from from below. So I do think that it is very very well balanced here to drive in uh, in, in Demon G2. This this will. This will be a fun comparison with uh, with the C12 from Camus. The C12 of Camus is really my chouchou, my favorite um, in this game. So it would it will be very nice to compare it uh, with that one. But it's it's good already. I, I mean, the sensations that I have again here. Uh, one of the best, if not the best, for for uh, for this game. When it comes to compatibility for the Simagic Alpha Mini, well, you can use it on PC, and that is it. However, there is, as always, third-party hardware that you can use it uh, on console. Uh, two things to keep in mind for this: if Sony decides to, yeah, block it for for any reason, finito, uh, 100 euro in the pubella. Um, and another thing would be it still remains an emulation so it won't uh, feel exactly the same as you are used uh, with uh, the Simagic Alpha Mini on your PC because yeah it it uses another uh, set of instructions of another direct drive to actually make this work so yeah I, um, it is possible to use it on console but just keep in mind those things ecosystem fantastic i mean i got the shifter with it in the package that i bought and it is very good quality i mean uh, and they have shifters they have handbrake they have pedals they have other steering wheels a very nice selection it's not the biggest uh, of ecosystem but it is very good for ecosystem and very decent material also price of course uh, as you all know in ecosystems can be a bit high you can buy the uh, C-Magic Alpha Mini for 539 uh, US dollar from their website. GTS steering wheel, which I have here, 359 US dollars. So that would settle you for about $900 uh, without shipment and taxes. If you 
put in the shipment and the taxes. I calculated this for, for, for Belgium. Uh, $180 uh, for shipping only and of course taxes still come with this. So we are north to 1000 euro for uh, this setup. Um, they also handle uh, their business via dealers. And, uh, but it didn't make that much of a difference. I saw a dealer 629 euro for the wheelbase, uh, 300 and, uh, and something for the, um, uh, for the steering wheel. Also 1000 euro that you need to pay for, for it. So yeah, it's not much, uh, much of a difference. Is it a lot? Is it not a lot? I say this all the time uh, for some people, it is a lot. And for me, it is a lot, for example, for other people, they just say, okay, well, it's 1000 euro for my hobby. Okay. It's still reasonable. The Simpro manager software is a fantastic piece of software that they bundled with this, uh, with this wheelbase. Um, it is very, you, you have a very nice oversight of your hardware, the different games, the settings are very clear, everything. Um, everything just feels very um, natural, accessible for, for all the users. Um, and what struck me in particular was the presets that they had for the different games. So they came, uh, they, they have some sort of uh, factory settings for each game. And uh, I used those to test it and it was really, really, it were really good settings. I, I didn't have to change anything. And this is very important because, well, for people that like me, I don't like to, to spend hours in finding the correct setup. I would love for a real bit just to work from when I pull it out of the box and I just put, uh, okay, this game I'm playing, that it works and it gives me already the a very good sensation and they really managed it with uh, with the software same for beginners i mean all the settings it can be a bit overwhelming but for the beginners this is really an easy option to start uh, driving directly um the games that i tested yeah acc and bmg of course they are already a bit popular um uh, but yeah i'm sure that for other games that they did their best also to provide uh, very decent settings so are there any problems with this wheelbase? Not that I noticed when I was using it, I didn't notice anything uh, that out of the ordinary, but it is said that uh, when you put the settings a bit higher, like the damper and stuff, that, that you can get it really hot uh, when, when you drive an hour or two with it. So, but this is something that comes back in other wheelbases too. I saw this also with the Moza, with the Camus. So this is something that comes back and it, does it worry me? Yeah. Of course, warmth is not good, but I mean, these are really also very high settings and, and I didn't need those settings to, to have a good time uh, with this with this wheelbase. So I would say um, also with the, the new steering wheel that they had, the GT Neo, I think, that that also had some issues, but those seem to be, yeah, worked out also. Uh, you just need to check for uh, on, on Reddit for, for the problems with it. Uh, but for the rest, yeah, no, not, not really any uh, structural problems that I can see with the wheelbase itself. A conclusion is always really hard to make for, for, for wheelbases. Eh? Is it a good wheelbase? Absolutely. It is a fantastic wheelbase. I love driving it in, in both games. Uh, it, it gave me what I wanted, uh, so no issue there. In fact, everything what the SimMagic Alpha Mini seems to do, it does it well. It is smooth and subtle with a fantastic range of different force feedback levels because of the quality of the motor it uses. The power it can generate, 10 Nm and unofficially even higher peaks is enough for most of us out there. The hardware is also not solely designed for the advanced users. The software that comes with the Alpha Mini is suitable for beginners and advanced users and is possibly the best I have tested so far when it comes to functionality and user friendliness. When you buy this wheelbase, you buy a Porsche, including all the diligence, precision and efficiency that comes with it. However, some people do not need Porsches and prefer a Volkswagen or a Geely. I myself have always been a fan of Renault. I prefer gadgets like True Force, TDFB and Full Force integrated in my wheelbase. I love an ecosystem that also includes peripherals for other forms of simulated driving than sim racing. And the last important thing would be that I'm a bang for buck guy. Budget does count for me. 
I would love to say that C Magic Alpha Mini is the best wheelbase I have tested so far. It would give me a lot of thumbs up for this video seeing all the fans out there. But I won't do that, because it is not true. The best wheelbase is not a standard like time or distance. The best wheelbase depends on what you personally think simulated driving should feel like, combined with other variables like platform, game, ecosystem and price. Thank you all for watching, I hope you had something from this video, please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you all in the next video, bye bye.